Welcome on to another edition of Run with Coach Perry. My name is Brad Brown. We've got uh, our running coach, Marcus Vanikat, with us once again. Marcus, welcome back. Good to have you on. Thanks, Brad, and uh, yeah, thanks to the listeners. Yeah, they they loved you last time around, so we're letting you back, which is which is cool. But uh, if you missed Marcus's debut, uh, scroll back in the feed, and you can go and, and check it out. And before we get into today's question, which is about gadgets and uh, using the data that gadgets give you to figure out if you're overtraining or not, uh, let me just tell you that if you are in the hunt to win, if you'd like to get yourself uh, three-month access to the Coach Perry online training platform, we've teamed up with Biogen uh, to help you on your journey. All you need to do is tell us what you would like to achieve, what you're training for, what you need help with. Uh, The hashtag to use is hashtag Biogen Journey. Uh, We'll pick it up on social media. It doesn't matter what platform you use if you're on instagram facebook twitter whatever it is uh use that hashtag and we'll select one winner every single week to win three month access and we'll help you achieve your goals so uh the hashtag once again is hashtag biogen journey and make sure you listen out to our weekly podcast the audio podcast to find out if you are a winner marcus today's question is a, a good one and i love gadgets like the best of of people i am a gadget freak i probably don't use the data as much as i should use the data but i think there is a bit of a danger in relying too much of uh, on that data and today's question is a great one and, and uh, it's about overtraining and it popped up in our forums on the, the new Coach Perry online training platform and uh, the person wanted to know what are the symptoms of overtraining how do you know that you're overtraining and can devices like your Garmin or your Polar or your Sunto can they tell you can the stats and the data on those devices tell you if you're overtraining or not and whether you should or shouldn't back off Cool. Thanks, Brad. And, and, and yeah, it's a great question and, and, and it's really applicable. I think in today's fast-paced lifestyles, I think if people are, are, are more prone um, as, you know, well, compared to previous years to, to get very close to overtraining or overtraining. Um, I think first and foremost is I'm going to take a totally different spin on this question. For me, I also love gadgets. Uh, but what we don't need to forget is that it's it's a it's a computer it can't think for itself so it can only gather so much information from you as an athlete or as an individual some people for like myself i only wear my sports watch when i train i never use it during the di- during the day i don't sleep with it so it can only gather so much information and i'm probably the worst person to ask for you know how close one would be to overtraining i have a one and a half year old that you know it's you know still sleeps in our room but uh, it wakes up to well he wakes up two two or three times a night uh, I wake up at four o'clock in the mornings to go and coach um, I train myself I still have my full-time job uh, the bottom line is uh, my watch doesn't know that so what I do is I just need to firstly get to know myself as an athlete how I respond to certain sessions and if I recover enough I've heard a quote before um, which which was more or less along uh, along the lines of um, there, uh, there's no such thing as overtraining. There's it's more about of under recovering, and to me that's very important. If your recovery is sufficient, you, you well you wouldn't be overtraining as well. The chances of you overtraining wouldn't be as great as, as as you think it is. So for me, it's truly understanding what overtraining is, what the symptoms are, whether it's lack of appetite, tiredness. Constant fatigue, uh, uh, your constant, uh, you know, soreness, chronic pain that you're experiencing, reaching a plateau or not, you know, hitting the numbers, um, elevated resting and, um, you know, active heart rate. Those are all things that plays a role. And for me, those are telltale symptoms that uh, you might be, you know, borderline um, overtraining. And once again, I don't know if my Garmin would be able to tell me that or whatever device I, I could be using. Um, with regards to, to how to fight it or how to uh, prevent it, um, if you think you are overtraining or have you are, if you are overtrained, for me, it's all about rest. Um, take at least a week, 100% take it off. Make sure you eat enough. Make sure you sleep enough. Stay away from alcohol. Um, just focus on your sleeping patterns as well. Um, I mentioned alcohol, things like alcohol or a lack of con- or, or solid sleeping pattern. Um, that pushes up your cortisol levels, cortisol levels. Well, high cortisol levels isn't what you want. So um, there's a, quite a few things that, that you know, need to be taken into account, not just information from your wrist unit. To me, that's a, um, it's, it's, it's interesting to read up on, um, but it, it doesn't always give you the true reflection of, of where your body's at or you know, what your body's capable of.
Yeah, absolutely. And I think we, we tend to rely on the gadgets a lot. I mean, not even just on the overtraining side of things, Marcus. I mean, you, you see it so often where, where guys will be going and, uh, and, and, they'll, and they're just looking at their watch the whole time. They've, they've forgotten what it feels like to run and, and what it feels like to do a hard session and what it feels like to do an easy session because they're relying too much on, on the data. So there is a risk in that. They are great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I own gadgets. So do you. But uh, yeah, you've, there's a fine line. You've got to get that balance right. And I think it's important that we, we don't rely too too much on the gadgets and, and forget that we're human and like Marcus said uh, if you have stress at work or uh, young kids that don't sleep well that all adds up and, and sort of adds to the load as well so Marcus as always great to catch up don't forget if you are looking for structured training uh, if you need help on your journey make sure you check out the Coach Perry online training platform we've got a, an incredible uh, community of athletes supportive we've got all the coaches in there Marcus the rest of the guys and girls as well uh, as well as Lindsay and uh, yeah you can get access to that right now all you need to do is head over to coachparry.com forward slash join we are back uh, in just a couple of days time until then from myself Brad Brown and Marcus it's cheers cheers guys thanks for listening thanks Brad